Hey Aquarius, what is going on? What's the chat? I hope you're really well. This is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be a love reading for July, tail end of July, but you know what's timeless Aquarius, so whenever you happen to get it is when you were meant to get it. You are so welcome here. Thank you so much for checking out the reading. <clears throat> and if you find it resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, if you, you know, if you're called to. I've already shuffled the decks I'm going to use. I'm going to start off with a couple of love oracle messages. So Spirit, what would you like Aquarius to know, please? What would you like Aquarius to know? What's this? You've admired. We're just going to take that top one. So you have, it's time to think of everything you admire in your partner and if I can just get it to focus I'm also quite drawn to the kind of holding hands thing there so it just seems like quite a close connection also like the matching tattoos they have there um, you know this could be someone that's very familiar to you it's like, it's like a mutual respect thing that's coming in for you guys here what else please Spirit? Would you like Aquarius to know, please? Emotions. Look deep within your emotions. Okay. So, <clears throat> you know, depending on when you're watching this, I'm recording this right before the the uh, Aquarius full moon. Like, especially for you guys, Aquarius, this full moon in Aquarius obviously is going to affect you the most. I think you and Leo. <laughs> it affects the most. Um, so you might be being asked here to, you know, actually let your emotions, like, actually feel them. Because I don't mean that in a patronizing way. I say it as a Gemini. Like, I know, um, excuse me, <coughs> I know this is something as air signs struggle with, right? Because when you're faced with some kind of, I don't know, problem, like, a, you know choice you're like okay so I'm gonna handle this logically right so logically it's like I don't know if you had two people to choose from for example or if you're wondering whether or not to take someone back you're gonna be like okay so this person did this this and this to me therefore it's not logical right maybe it's something like that maybe you're asked being asked to kind of feel your emotions properly so that you can um, deal with them and you know move on to something that serves serves you but I know the uh, full moon in Aquarius is all about letting your true self fly, you know what I mean? And releasing people who don't appreciate you for being your true self. I know that's one of the, the things about this full moon. Um, what else for Aquarius, please? <clears throat> oh, Cupid. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. Cuteness. So... You're definitely about to be, I think there's a, this is either someone you already know or someone you're about to meet, but I think you're kind of, yeah, <laughs> I was just about to say that, you have trust at the bottom of the deck. Um, you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish, so I don't know if there's something here, like maybe you've been hurt in the past, like, you know, you'd be lucky if you hadn't been, right? Um, but there's definitely like love coming in for you here with Cupid, if I can pick the card up. Um, and you have admire, so it's. I think it's someone you're really gonna like, Aquarius. Like, I think this person's gonna trigger things in you that maybe you've kind of not really allowed people to trigger for a long time, and it, they might spark some new emotions in you, you know, or like churn some emotions up from the past that you've not allowed yourself to feel for a while. But they're saying you can trust this person, you know like kind of let go because I know as an air sign it's kind of easy to try and let your logic control things but sometimes you just gotta let the emotions you know you gotta let the emotions have their say too right um so it looks like I mean it's looking like you can trust this person you know there's a lot of hand holding going on in these cards it looks like a pretty deep connection here um so I've already shuffled this deck too I'm gonna do a little Celtic cross Yeah. 
There's a lot in me. Okay, this is about feelings, which I know gross, right? Ew, feelings. <laughs> Just let me lay all the cards out, Aquarius, and then. Yeah, oh my god, feelings. Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and. Oh, you have the Two of Cups in your outcome position. Well, well, this is looking beautiful. So, <clears throat> you have the Justice card at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. So, there, okay, there's something here about kind of really feeling your emotions. Okay, you have the Five of Pentacles. Sorry, let me just. You're showing up here as the Five of Pentacles crossed by the Knight of Cups. So there could have been a lot of rejection in your past or fear of rejection, right? Um, like not allowing your emotions to come through, not really allowing yourself to kind of feel your feelings about people too much in case you get hurt, right? That's changing. <laughs> You'll be, um, I don't know, maybe a little upset to know because I don't know, you have feelings, right? But it's kind of looking like you're going to need to feel in order to have this relationship with this person. Because you have this Two of Cups in the outcome position, which is, I mean, the Two of Cups is soulmate energy, it's life partner energy, it's like um, someone you're very, very connected to, you know? Like, see how these, I don't know if I said this, but see how they have matching tattoos, if I can get it to focus? See how they have matching tattoos? It just makes me think that this person's going to mirror you in many ways, or they're going to be like, like you're going to compliment each other in many ways, you know, you know, like bounce off each other very well but this is i mean this new relationship that's coming in now has the potential to go very very far when you have that two of cups energy so it's looking like you're kind of doing a bit of purging here um and allowing yourself to kind of feel emotions so that you can have this like relationship with this person who's coming in here Um, so there's definitely something steady coming in. You have the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, so there's definitely, this person's going to be very stable. They could be a water sign. I'm just making a massive sweeping generalization there because there's so much in this reading about emotions. You might end up with a water sign, but it doesn't have to be because you have all, you know, you've pretty much, you have, it can be any sign. You have all the signs here pretty much. Um, it could also be an earth sign though, like with the, the knight of pentacles there, but it's going to be very stable and this person's going to bring you a lot of peace. Uh, you have a lot of peace coming in in your near future with the four of swords there, but I feel like you know you're going through this because you have the page of cups here, which is all about feeling your feels, you know, um, accessing emotions, expressing your true emotions. You have the justice card at the bottom of the deck, so things are kind of... You know, the Justice card is like things really balancing themselves out and like truth and breakthroughs coming in. You might have to make a decision here because you also have that Two of Pentacles there. There might be some kind of decision you're making here about something because this person could already be in your energy. You could be very much at a crossroads in your life <clears throat> because you have this Nine of Cups here which is an energy of actually being fine where you are. So I don't know if you're kind of in an energy of like, you know what, I don't even know if I want a partner. Like I'm actually fine by myself. Like I get all, you know, I'm very independent. I've got my own money. I've got my friends. Like, you know what, I'm pretty chill. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm, if I'm up for a new person. Because this person could have already made you this offer or you could be aware that they want to make you this offer. Or like this, this could be someone brand new coming in. And the thing is, when that happens, especially when it's this Two of Cups soulmate type energy, when you when this person is on their way in, you tend to start meeting them on the astral and stuff. Like you're dreaming about this person, you know? So you, you're already gonna be aware that this person's in your energy. So you might be kind of subconsciously making a decision here. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please. 
you can also be having some money problems um, at the moment you might be more focused on your money than anything else because you have the ten of pentacles in the past position and the five of pentacles now so I don't know if there's maybe for some of you like you lost your job or you lost a bit of money or you gambled some of it or badly invest not badly invested but an investment that didn't pay off or something um because over here as well you have the two of pentacles so you, you might be waiting for your money to to even to get on an even keel again why is the ten of pentacles here please that's quite a lot okay There's something here about being stuck in the past. Too much logic, I think. Well, not too much. Yeah, maybe too much, actually. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. There's something here about kind of feeling a bit stuck in the past. Because you have the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Ace of Swords, which is... These are all, like, see, it's all swords. That's all logic. It's all thought. And it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Why is that Ten of Pentacles here, please? Yeah, I don't know, it's like somebody made you an offer. In the past and you didn't take it. Because the Ten of Pentacles is about being settled and having a, like, having a family you know the ten of pentacles is kind of like long term and the seven of pentacles is um really having to think about things you also have the three of cups down here so i don't know if maybe you were you were married and you were cheated on in the past and it's really messed you up which obviously would make a lot of sense or if you were in a long-term commitment in the past and you got cheated on and it's kind of led you into this um, just feeling trapped, you know, feeling too logical about things and not being able to move forward. Mm -hmm. Give me some more for that Ten of Pentacles, please. Yeah. It's like, okay, so yeah, because you have the Ten of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So, Either you were in a very long-term relationship in the past <clears throat> and you were cheated on or like you've never wanted this in the past or you kind of wanted it but you didn't want to lose your freedom you know with this queen of wands energy because she's that's my that's my card of the single chick you know that's my card of like it doesn't have to be a woman right but like this is the energy of for me you know, someone who's been like, you know what, I don't even know if I want a guy or like I want another woman. You know what, I'm fine. It's, it's really more of this Nine of Cups energy. I'm um, like, you know what, I'm just fine by myself. Like I'm making bank, I've got my friends, you know, I like to party, whatever. Like, you know, maybe it'd be nice to settle down, but at the same time, meh, do I really want to? I feel like you're at some kind of crossroads here. Like it's, it's either that you were in a relationship and you got cheated on or in the past you weren't sure if you wanted to settle down. Um, but I think things are changing now in terms of that because you have the death card here which is transformation. I think maybe you're actually allowing yourself to kind of feel these emotions that are saying maybe it would be nice to have someone. Like maybe I do want love, you know, which is so disgusting for an ear sign, isn't it, Aquarius? Like <laughs> I feel your pain. Um, why is that four of swords there, please? Definitely peace coming in. More swords energy, though. This is such an air sign reading. Um, okay, you have the hermit card. Be a Virgo coming in. Clarify that Scooby Four of Swords, please.
made of once. Um, so you could have a Virgo, you could have a Knight of Wands coming in here. Uh, sorry, a fire sign, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And one more. Please. Temperance. This is somebody who's going to be very healing for you coming in here. It could definitely be a water sign. If they're not a water sign, then they have a lot of water in their chart. This is someone quite sensitive, which <laughs> I feel like this is why you're being prepared um, to be more sensitive, basically. Because you have this four of swords here in your near future. So this is like maybe two, three, four months, something like that. It could be a lot sooner. Just depends on the situation. But that four of swords is um, rest, contemplation, peace. Um, you have this hermit energy coming in, so you could be dealing with a Virgo in your near future. Um, this could also be part of this Four of Swords energy of like just letting yourself think. Instead of repressing the emotions, like giving, letting yourself feel them, you know, in your near future here. And then kind of all of a sudden, this Knight of Wands energy arrives. So I feel like it's just going to be a case of you, do, you know, doing your Aquarius thing and like giving yourself time to heal. Um, because the thing is, until you stop, you won't heal, you know, because you have to give yourself time to feel the emotions before you can, you know, get rid of them, <laughs> basically. And you have the Knight of Wands here with the Temperance. So there's some kind of bold energy coming towards you in the near future. And with the Temperance card, like it's going to be very healing, more Cups energy look. Um, this person is going to be very balanced though. You have the Queen of Cups energy at the bottom of the deck as well, which like I said, more Cups. Um, it's funny because you have like Swords Cups. <laughs> it's like a very clear energy. Like, it's so funny. It's like Aquarius, new person. Um, and the Queen of Cups is a very, like, you might find that this person mirrors you in a lot of ways, like, they've also been hurt in the past. Um, but, you know, the Queen of Cups, she's very balanced, you know, she might have been hurt in the past, but she's not going to dump that on you. You know, the Queen of Cups is someone that, has, she's very healthy because she's managed to transmute that energy into something healthy, you know. Now she only attracts healthy relationships and she has good boundaries and stuff, you know. Um... So there's something very healthy coming towards you here and you have the Six of Swords here which is literally moving into calmer waters. You know, literally moving into healthier um, he healthier mindsets, healthier behaviours. Um, moving away from things that caused you a lot of turmoil and angst. Why is that Two of Pentacles there please? Page of Wands. Oh, so pretty much you just want to heal by this point. And the Aquarius card comes out. I think this full moon will really help you actually. Um, because you have the two of pentacles here with the Page of Wands. There's a tiny fly flying around in here and he's driving me nuts. Um, yeah, Two of Pentacles with that Page of Wands. I feel like you're trying to decide if you want this new beginning or not. I feel like you're kind of in no man's land a little bit here because, you, like I said, you're doing that air sign thing of where you can see both sides of the argument. <laughs> you know, you can see um, why we, you would want to be alone. You know, why you would want to stay single. And you can also see why you would want to be settled. Um, but I think you're just... You just kind of want to make a decision by this point. Like, you want to be able to, yeah, basically heal. This this star card is, is about healing, but it's also about being yourself. Like, see how she's naked? Um, this is because she's, she's very much herself, which is Aquarius energy, you know? Um, yeah, like... Just being yourself, being true to yourself, um, you know, the star card is also about like regeneration and finding hope again. I feel like there's a lot in this about you wanting to find hope again and kind of allowing yourself to believe, you know, like in the X-Files, I want to believe. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, you have this two of cups coming in here. There's someone coming in here for you, Aquarius, that's your soulmate, basically. And I think they're preparing you for it because, like, they're trying to get you into this more feeling your emotions kind of, you know, um, stage so that this is going to work for you guys. And it's looking like this, like I said, it's this Knight of Wands energy, so I think it's going to happen quite fast. So it might take you, might kind of sweep you off your feet a wee bit. That's the kind of Knight of Wands energy being swept off your feet. But this new person is like very balanced, very healthy, and you can trust them, is what Spirit wants you to know. So I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was a pleasure to read for you. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. So, you know, take it easy, enjoy the full moon, and, you know, uh, lots of love. Bye.